Walk a mile in these Louboutins. Hi you guys, it's Janessa, your unique presenter. So I wanted to do a video today because I feel like I haven't done a video in a while. Maybe you feel like I have, but I feel like I haven't <clears throat> done like a real fun makeup video in a while. So I was getting ready and my baby was sleeping, so I was like, why not just do a get ready with me on this makeup look? So that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial on how to get this makeup look. Um, I like it. It's, I'm going to a fun little girl's Christmas party tonight, and I thought it would be a fun little little makeup shindig. I don't even know what I'm saying. But anyways, yeah, so just stay tuned, and I hope you guys like it. Okay? Okay, let's get started. Yes, my hair is beautiful right now. Just ignore it. We are going to start out with our Glorious Face Primer. Repeat after me, ladies. It is a crime not to prime. You're only going to need just a little bit of that primer. I'm going to work this in circular motions across my entire face, but I'm really going to try and focus and press this into my T-zone where it is greatly needed. After you're finished, you're going to let that sit for at least five minutes. Now moving on, we are going to start with our Touch Liquid Foundation, aka Photoshop in a Bottle. This is the shade Organza. It is my winter shade, so it is very light. I will be applying it with a Real Techniques Flat Kabuki Brush. All you need to do is shake the bottle a couple times and then apply four drops to your hand and then apply it to the face in circular motion, kind of buffing it into the skin. This foundation is going to start out as a liquid serum, but then it is going to dry on your skin into a matte powdery finish, which is going to give you that full coverage. And make sure when you are buffing this into your skin to go down your neck and on your ears so that you are blending this in and it looks flawless. Look at that coverage compared to the other side. I freaking love it. Now I'm only going to add a couple of drops to my hand again to complete the other. Up next, we're going to be applying Unique's Eye Primer. You are only going to apply a little bit of this to your eyes, and what it's going to do is going to make that eye makeup stay all day, make it very vibrant, and make it not crease. And with this primer, just like our face primer, you are going to want to let it dry. While that eye primer is drying, I will be applying our concealer. Once again, a little product goes a long way, so you do not need more than a pinhead size amount. We'll first be applying this under my eyes. You can use a concealer brush or just your finger like I am. I am also going to be applying this to the bridge of my nose, the bottom of my chin, and the top of my forehead. My reasoning for doing this is because I am highlighting under my eyes and I don't want it to just look stark white under there, so I am highlighting other parts of my face so it looks more natural. It will be going in with our blending bud, and what I love about this is it gets in those little nooks under your eyes, and it has a big bottom that gets big parts of your face. It's the most perfect sponge ever, and I highly recommend anyone getting them. And as you can see, it blends out that product seamlessly, making it so naturally pretty. And just like any other concealer, you need to set that so it doesn't crease or give you wrinkles that you don't have. I like to use e.l.f.'s High Definition Setting Powder. It looks white, but it goes on translucent, and it gives your skin a silky finish, and it's just so cheap and so perfect. Up next, I will be going in with our brow pencil and our brow gel to fix these caterpillars on my face. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, I have a brow tutorial video, so go check that out. Now for the fun part, eyeshadows. We are first going to start out with a pigment shadow in the shade Glamorous, which is a beautiful purple shade. We are going to apply that with Unique's Deluxe Brush. I'm going to start to apply this in my crease and a slightly above it and do windshield wiper motions across my eye and then blend it out in circular motions. Once we have done that to both eyes, we are going to take the pigment in the shade Risqué. It is a dark grayish black. We will be using Unique's crease brush to apply this pigment. I will be applying this shade in the outer corner of my lid and then keeping this directly in my crease. I don't want this to be as messy as I made the purple. I want this to be very precise. And once again, once I get the placement, I will be blending this by 
taking the brush back and forth in windshield wiper motions. Next, I will be taking our Splurge Cream Shadow in the shade Elegant. This is what's going to take our eyes and make them pop. I will be taking Unique's Cream Shadow Brush, and with that brush, I will pack this color on the center of my lid and towards the inner corner of my eye. To make the color really intense, you can start patting it on with the brush. I decided to go back in with the crease brush and the pigment in the shade Risqué because I felt like we lost a little bit of that color once we put on the cream shadow. Once I did this, it really intensified the eye and gave it the look that I wanted. Next, I went in with Unique's Perfect Pencil, which is a black shade. I am simply applying, applying this as I would any regular eyeliner. Next, I am taking Unique's White Pencil in the shade Pristine. As you can see, this shade is well loved by me. I am putting this on my waterline, which will essentially make my eyes look bigger and stand out more, which is what I wanted for this eye look. Next, I'm going to contour my face with our bronzer in the shade Sunset. I want you to notice the difference. One side of my face looks flat, where the other one is very well defined, showing you that contouring does make a difference, but it doesn't need to be drastic. Next, I'll be applying it to my forehead, the bottom of my jaw, and on the side of my nose. Next, I will be taking our blusher in the shade Seductive to add a pop of color to my face. You apply this to the apples of the cheeks and blend back. And because we're all about that holiday glam, I am going in with this highlighting palette and taking this shade and this shade to make the perfect highlight color. I will highlight on the apples on my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow just to create some fun highlighting. Next, we're going to take our 3D Fiber Mascara, curl those lashes, and do gel fiber gel. You know the drill. Last step, but certainly not least, is our lips. I will be taking our lip stain in the shade Sappy and applying that to dry exfoliated lips. After I have applied one coat, I will let that air dry for at least 30 seconds, and if I want to, apply another. Next, I am going in with our lip pencil in the shade Pompous and applying this all over my lips to create a matte lipstick finish. And that, ladies and gents, completes this look. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm not hating, I'm just telling you.